This video is not just meant for kids, and the message only expresses our view, which could be different from yours. What do you think about this photo? That many protesters rally against Governor's stay-at-home order. Notice the poster on the upper right-hand side of the photo? It said, My rights do not end where your fear begins. Let's discuss this statement. Yes, we have a fear of COVID-19, but this fear doesn't come from a hoax. It is supported by the fact from these real numbers that more than 13 million cases have been confirmed. And more than half a million of people have died due to the infection. I'm sure many of you already seen these photos in the news in our country. And similar situation is now happening in Brazil. Like many have said, we have to think as we, not as me, to fight the virus. So it's not just our choice to choose, but we have to comply with law and guidance. Let me share with you the guideline and recommendation of how we can protect ourselves and others from Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. We already know that the virus can spread from person to person through close contact within six feet and respiratory droplets. Now, what we can do to prevent the spreading of the virus, the easiest thing and very crucial is to wash our hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Practice six feet social distancing to avoid close contact with sick family members and people who don't live in our house. Cover our mouth and nose with face cover when around others. This is important that we comply with law and guidance from public health officials to protect ourselves and others. Cover coughs and sneezes also clean and disinfect all surfaces, especially where being used frequently. And monitor our health and others and family daily. My dad went to different stores to check out face masks and hand sanitizer. And here's what he found. There are a lot of hand gel sanitizers next to customer service at Giant. According to CDC, Hand sanitizers should contain at least 60% alcohol, and these are 70 and CVS, there's a stand of hand gel sanitizers sitting at checkout. Also, different kinds of face masks. And there are a lot of hand gel sanitizers on the shelf. I'm sure there will be no more shortage as we have learned from the past few months. Similar at Aldi. There are a big stack of face masks, 50 masks in a box. Or ten in the bag. One of our favorite toy stores, Five Below, also has hand sanitizers. store has them and Amazon
Amazon has lots to choose from. So we don't have to keep a lot of stock at home. Probably one month is good enough. As I said in the beginning, to fight the virus and its mutated strains, which could be more deadly, we have to work together as a team. For me, safety first for myself and people around me. Thank you for the news, photos, and information from DailyMail.com, Reuters, CDC, and John Hopkins University and Medicine. Stay safe and be healthy, everyone. Remember that together we will survive.